All right. I guess it's uh, time to start the live stream for Urban Empire. So I'm Jussi Autio from Reborn Games and uh, I will be presenting you something I've worked on for almost two years now. Uh, on the chat room there will be several people from Calypso Media also answering questions. Uh, and basically I will go, tr go through the game uh, and uh, I will look at the chat room every once in a while. So if you have questions or if you want to see something uh, special, uh, just write it down and I will try, try, try my best to notice that uh, and do as you, as you request. So hopefully uh, at least those who will follow this have heard about the uh, Urban Empire. So Urban Empire is a new breed of game, a city ruler, which basically means that we have taken the uh, city builder genre added a lot of politic, uh, political decision-making, like a political layer on top of it, and the 200 years of historical, uh, historical development into the midst. And there we have the urban empire. So let's go through, uh, through the basics. Also, one more disclaimer before going deeper. Uh, this is my, only my second stream ever, so unfortunately, my jokes at the office are known to be super bad, so I will try to spare spare from you, uh, spare you from those. Usually, I'm the only one laughing at my own jokes, so uh, I will just focus on more of a data. Anyways, urban empire. So at the beginning of the game, uh, you will choose one of the four families that you will play the game, and the goal of the game is to stay in power for those previously said 200 years uh, and if you manage to do that that's one of the winning conditions you can win earlier with other winning conditions but uh, I will get get to that uh, more in depth later so let's have a look at the families first so each of these families start as a stereotype so the uh, von Fieldsens for example uh, they are the old aristocratic family uh, they they used to be the uh, privileged people in the old, older times, so they like they tend to like uh, uh, like things to stay how they they've always been. So they're more more of a conservative uh, family, uh, which will give bonuses to uh, uh, conservative uh, uh, parties in the game and some old, older generations of the citizens as well. Then we have the Santelias, uh, which is more of the science family in the in the game. Uh, they believe that uh, even more uh, current problems can be solved by focusing on mostly on the future and as such they get more, uh, more serious boost uh, to everything research re related onto the progress cloud uh, inventions and, and so forth. Then we have the Kilganons, which is uh, the heroes of the underdog family. Uh, they are always on the, uh, on the side of those who don't have the rights. So early, early on they are more labor union activists than, than uh, women's rights activists and then uh, minorities' rights activists and, and so forth. And then we have the Shuskis, uh, which is the patron of arts family, a wealthy family, and playing with those is like asking the question that what if the world was ruled by people who love uh, uh, arts and culture and are ready to support that. So each of these families indeed uh, will have several family members that as the play progresses. It will change, uh, the player character will change as the uh, errors change as the game goes on. Uh, and the story, story continues. So let's start, for example, with the science family. We see that we start the game at the birth of, uh, or basically at the second wave of the Industrial Revolution at the 1820. We will progress through the 200 years in five different eras. I'm sure that uh, in this one hour uh, stream, we won't have time to go through all of them. So I'll quickly grasp what is to, to be expected. So the second era will cover the aspect of uh, national awakening when the national identities in different, uh, different places uh, woke up. And uh, time-wise, it basically covers the end of the 19th century all the way to the uh, start of the Great War, or the, what we know nowadays as the uh, First World War. 
And then uh, uh, the third era will be the mid-World War eras, the uh, rocking 20s, as well as the very turbulent 30s, with the extreme ideologies rising both left and right. And after the Second World War, we continue to the Fourth Era, which is uh, naturally the Cold War era. And it's not just about the uh, Cold War itself, like uh, communists versus capitalists, but rather a very dualistic era. It's also the era that saw the uh, sexual revolution, hippie movement, the rise of youth culture, and so forth. And naturally, the birth of video games as well. So we have painted it more as still black and white that old old is uh, passing on to the something new and uh, at the same time the world is on the verge of uh, well, uh, nuclear catastrophe and, and so forth. And the fifth era is uh, the modern era or the uh, current era, the uh, globalization or fragmentation of values, uh, social media era and so forth. It has, has many names but basically covers everything since, uh, since the uh, fall of the Soviet Union uh, to 2020 and time victory will take place in 2020 uh, if you do if you have fallen in love with your city you can continue playing after 2020 but uh, the amount of content won't be renewed so what we have created for the game will also that that will be it what you have seen uh, by the time 2020 and another important aspect uh, of the families is the family members and their, their traits that uh, they will get specific bonuses for different things based on what kind of uh, traits you have. Along the way how you rule and what kind of decisions you make you may still earn more of the traits but the, there are always starting traits for each of the different family members and some some families are well more prone to get certain traits than than the others you you may lose those traits if you play play in a certain manner but uh, but it will be a lot harder to get rid of the traits you've once earned already okay and the game will cover also uh three different maps uh let's choose just one for example and when it comes to the uh, game itself, it is indeed a mayor game, not a god game like most city builders are. So at the same time, I'm sure that most would uh, mo most would agree that politics isn't necessarily the, the most interesting thing if you consider it as a simulation, sitting in meetings and so forth. So our guiding light is rather a power fantasy of what of the cool aspects of being a mayor. How it would be to scheme with the different political parties, how it would be to uh, uh, like make grand decisions instead of having to settle with the tiny details. Uh, and at, at the beginning of the game, naturally you can uh, name your city. In all the games I play, uh, my capital city, whether it's civilization or if it's uh, if it's SimCity or City Skylines or Tropic or anything, I will always name my first city as Rauda City, my home home village back in Finland. Uh, and then, as I said, uh, we want the player to do grand decisions. So, so the first thing to do is naturally to build the first district uh, to get things started. And that's basically just by drawing an area. And if I would want, that could be it. You can't build two big districts. You can shape them. You can add corners by right-clicking. You can do any funny shapes, all, well, almost any funny shapes you want. I could, like, force that this shape wouldn't be possible in, and so forth. Uh, and once you're happy how the appearance looks, let's see, for example, this. This looks nice then you go forward and uh, then uh, the one thing that you need to do is 
make sure that you have the city hall in the in the first district. That's basically the kind of uh, capital. Uh, yeah, sorry, I'm uh, paying attention to something that uh, I've been said uh, uh, said on the site. So there is on top of this main game, there is also scenarios. Uh, but anyways, going back uh, back to the uh, main thing is that the city hall provides the starting values. It's like in civilization, you have the capital city has the, the uh, like palace. So it provides everything you need to uh, for the start, uh, and it's also the place where the political decision making uh, takes place. So that's basically what we need to need to place in the in the first district. And then uh, at the start, we can see at the bottom that there is still quite many things locked. So uh, they will be available uh, later on when you uh, research new inventions. But uh, early on, to get, thing, get things started, this is all you need to do. You can see some information about zoning, but before you uh, invent the invention that you can di dictate the zoning yourself, you can't uh, change that. And then uh, you can name the uh, district as well if you want and just get started. So now I have my first district. The game is basically ready to begin. So as we on pause, next thing that we'll, we will notice is the game will go back to the, uh, pause because the city hall is providing us something that's called brain power, uh, just like for example, in civilization, you get the science points from the palace. So we need to first thing to do. What we need to do is uh, after after the first district is to go to the progress cloud and decide what we want to invent next. Uh, this is also a good place to see what everything there is to uh, uh, cover in the game. So we have everything from psychology or cosmetics to indeed video games or sexual revolution or pop music and later on uh, social media or uh, internet of things and, and so forth. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. We're still in the 1820s. So what are the options that uh, we need to invent first? So we can invent, for example, thermodynamics providing us with the uh, unlock spread selection. So it allows us to uh, uh, choose the zoning uh, ourselves. It also provides uh, steam power, which is good for the different uh, companies in the city. Unlocks one uh, one extra uh, business area also, and also provides us with the police station. With the safety authorities, there is different uh, edicts. Edicts are the kind of uh, local regulations that uh, uh, only appeal uh, only work within this uh, individual city. There are other types of edicts also, but uh, I will get to that later when they pop up. And also there was would be a clinic there. We could uh, invent gas infrastructure that provide us with uh, gas street lights or better road services and also, also a new business area. Or we could go to the telegraph, which unlocks a couple of uh, business areas as well as uh, uh, first in institution and two, two different municipal services. If this is all too confusing, don't worry. Within the next uh, hour, I'm sure that this is uh, uh, as obvious as, as, as it can be. So let's start, for example, with the thermodynamics. Now we see that the uh, invention goes towards that. We see that it takes uh, 400 uh, research points and it takes 58 months to research. And now we see that the pause went off since we are developing something. We see that the uh, first citizens are moving in, first buildings are being built. And uh, basically this is a good good place to explain other elements because well after the initial start the city needs a few, uh, few months, a couple of years for everything to start rolling. So uh, this is uh, important. Hopefully I will get back to this element also later on. 
because at the heart of the entire game is its uh, citizens. The citizens will dictate the political parties, one of our unique selling points or one of the key gameplay features that we add extra to the uh, city builder genre. But they also dictate uh, how well the companies are doing. We can look uh, on individual building level how the citizens are doing who live in that particular building. But probably at the beginning we are mostly in interested in these variables at the, at the top. So these are what we call the wheel of life values. Basically they are the uh, Pavlov's uh, hierarchy of needs that all the citizens have and how happy they are on these, uh, uh, these uh, different services or different variables, the happier they are. And these are exactly the stuff that the city hall uh, provides for the uh, city as you build them. That's why they aren't at the absolute horror place, which is the minus 10. That's as worst, uh, as, as bad as thing, things can go. And we can click to see more details on these averages. I'll put the game to pause so I, uh, it doesn't go too far. Uh, so all the citizens have certain amount of uh, needs or certain demand how much they want, want that service. In this case, the average for personal growth is 11. And they are getting four of those. Uh, and if they didn't get anything, it would always be minus, minus 10. If they got that 11, it would be plus 10. And anything from the between uh, would be uh, like uh, divided, uh, divided by that. So in, in this case, if uh, the average that the citizens get would be five and a half, then the satisfaction would be the absolute neutral point, which is zero. Not good, not bad. Just everyone would be okay happy. And those who are the most clever uh, watching this might realize that uh, if you p paid careful attention to the city hall, you notice that, but hey, wait a minute, the city hall only provides two, two of these uh, personal growth, two of e everything, and yet this view shows that they, they are getting four of those. Well, that leads us to the politics, basically, because there are also companies uh, where the citizens can go uh, go shop. For example, here is a restaurant and those those uh, citizens that have a job and thus they have money, they can go uh, shop also the, these six different services from there and get, get uh, happier because they shop around. And thus if you raise taxes too high in the game, then the citizens naturally will have less money uh, to shop around in the different, uh, different businesses. But at the same time, uh, just because people with work, uh, if they can shop around even if you, you don't provide them with any services, those without a job would not be able to do that and they would naturally uh, reduce all the averages and make the citizen, city a more unpleasant place to work, well, to live. And as such, uh, you need to collect some taxes to provide some services and at the same time, to, in order to make, them ha make the citizens happy. But if you raise the taxes too high, then you better know for sure that you can provide all the needs for the citizens and that's going to be a tough thing to do. And why would you need to care about the well-being of the citizens other than, indeed, because, well, well-being of the citizens should be important, right? At least I want to have a happy life in the real world. But there is another reason for it, which is that they, uh, how happy they are also affect the companies in the, in the uh, city. Uh, and they, uh, these... Uh, uh, the, sorry, uh, blabbering a bit. How happy the citizens are, they affect two principal values that all the different companies have. We have a quality and efficiency. And the happier the citizens are, 
the higher these two variables are. And these two variables are the things that dictate if the company is doing well or not. Uh, naturally, for the companies also, if you raise the company taxation too high, then they will need higher quality and efficiency to be uh, profitable. Uh, so balancing out how, how high do you raise the taxes or not is a key element in the game. So if you have low taxation, it might, the companies might be doing okay uh, still, even if the citizens aren't happy. But if you raise the taxation, you get uh, hopefully a lot of money, then you better make the citizens also happy because otherwise the companies will bankrupt if they don't become more productive and good, good uh, citizens and workforce for the companies. And in each of the companies, uh, how these two different variables differ from one another is that the, uh, all the companies have at least one workplace for the uh, working class and one workplace for the middle class. It's up to the companies, like they vary from uh, business area to business area, how, how big uh, difference there is. And the working class uh, people will dictate the efficiency. So the happier the working class is, the better the efficiency. And the uh, happier the middle class workers are, the better the quality. And quality dictates uh, how many sales the company will do, and efficiency uh, will dictate how many sales the company can do. And the difference is basically that uh, if uh, efficiency is super bad, then the company can't make many many sales because their efficiency is bad and if they're good they can uh, make even more sales but if the quality is uh, low no one will buy the product and as such even it doesn't matter then even if the efficiency is very high and indeed uh, the higher the taxation the more sales these extra sales is basically the amount that you see which you can follow if the company is doing well or not. And at the beginning of the game, because most companies, as they get uh, born, they're probably, as the citizens are only moving in, it usually the first companies drop slightly to minus. So th this is nothing to, to, uh, to be too worried about. Uh, they should, should get better as I will un un uh, like, like release the pause. Uh, pause post button. And this basically leads us to the other big place, which is the city council. And indeed with the city council we can do lots of stuff making the citizens happy or sad or well different different things. We can change the taxation, one of the key key elements naturally because without money uh, the city council or the different parties will most likely oppose whatever you would want to build or and so forth. We can uh, influence the funding in the different uh, what uh, different services that we have built and also those edicts that I mentioned but at the moment we don't have any any because well we need to unlock everything from that progress cloud. So let's raise the taxes a bit in order to get some, some uh, leeway. And here we can see that uh, instantly when I started uh, changing the taxation, uh, political compass uh, jumped out. And we see that the, there is three different parties that are here at the beginning of the game. All in all, uh, there is uh, 15 different parties in the game. But naturally, as times change, also the parties will change. Uh, and the green area shows that, okay, this party wholeheartedly supports your proposal. The red area, which we can, if we want to increase too much, uh, the red area is that they're diehard against, against the, whatever you're proposing. And the yellow area basically is the uncertain area. And there, the closer they are to the green area, the more, more uh, prone they are to vote uh, for you. Uh, and the closer they are to the red area, the more likely they are to oppose whatever you're about to uh, suggest. And how the whole political 
system works is that uh, now I proposed the tax change. Here is a better view of the uh, how the people people are uh, or the different parties are uh, voting for it, and we can go to the vote itself by clicking the vote modify taxes button uh, to basically see how how the vote is going. It does as you saw it didn't go instantly, but now the city council is preparing uh, the vote, uh, pre preparing the bill to be implemented. And here we can see that uh, there are also other stuff that influence the uh, political party's behavior. The political compass is what we saw at the prediction, but there is also the political goodwill may influence uh, one way or another how the party forms their opinion. So at the beginning everyone likes you, as you can see from here, that there is plus, uh, plus three goodwill on average, so everyone is more, a bit uh, more inclined to vote how you want them to vote. And then uh, uh, as time goes on, some parties will mo most likely hate you, some will like you, and so forth. So this will change. There, you see the wheel of life uh, variable there. Some parties like certain wheel of life values more than others. These are important when you're build, uh, suggesting that, hey, let's build a school or let's cut the uh, funding from theaters and so forth. So this is kind of extra, uh, what, what extra uh, variable, how, whatever the uh, party is uh, liking or not. So let's, for example, now uh, appeal to make sure that the Free Democratic Party would support us a bit more. So uh, by click selecting that party, we can try to plead them, demand, the, uh, demand them to vote like uh, we want, or threaten them to vote like, uh, like we want. And we see that something is unlocked. I will get back to that uh, more later, but basically, we, w with the invention of photography, we can start snooping around and trying to find some dirt that we could uh, use to blackmail the different parties. And uh, let's demand the uh, Free Demo Democratic Party to vote like we want them to vote. And this launches uh, one of the very many events in the game. And with the event, we can fine-tune the kind of tone how we want, to, want them to or wh where do we want to appeal or what is our argument uh, for this. And this comes from a pool of uh, different events that uh, should always fit for the target party. Like there are ways that, uh, for example, later on the Green Party can be appealed to, uh, whereas those same arguments wouldn't fit for I don't know, true Svarelian party, for example. And when we have decided to which one, which choice we want to choose, we see how, how it worked. And whereas the text itself will give kind of hints that what you should do, this is something that we want the players to play more intuitively. So the background logics here is that the outcomes are dynamic. We haven't uh, carved the options to stone, but rather uh, how much the party likes you, or if you have special trait, uh, like how your character is, the appeals might end up in different outcome on different play, uh, play times, or even on the same play time, if the same, same kind of option comes pops up again you might get a different, totally different outcome uh, on the same time. So we want the players to not really uh, like overplay, like just maximize everything, but rather indeed that you you should focus the dust. Would this appeal feel like uh, it fits for this party or not? Or like, do they like me enough that this, this appeal would work and, and so forth. And here we see indeed like, uh, those who paid attention, this moved, and we also see the same result here, that the change of opinion was three and a half points, and we lost some of that goodwill by uh, demanding the, uh, um, like making demands for the party. And 
the other uh, variables here mean that uh, three council members out of the 65, uh, 61 have already uh, decided that uh, they will vote against this no matter what. And 16 have already decided that, uh, uh, that basically they will vote for it. And 42 are still undecided. And we need to give the city council time so that those undecided will finally uh, decide how they will vote and that's that's uh, that's when the decision will be either implemented or disregarded and we see that uh, while we were at it we see that there is also other other uh, events popping up uh, which indeed is our uh, one of our ways to make sure that the city would feel alive reactive to whatever you're doing and hopefully uh, the political parties would feel not generic, but rather like NPCs for the player, that they also care about the city, they have their own vision, uh, how they would want everything to be, and through the events, uh, they, they will also uh, communicate directly with the player. So here, for example, uh, the Free Democratic Party don't like conservatives, uh, and and they are, as the conservatives are standing in the way of the reforms, uh, and they're asking what you to what to do. So, uh, indeed, the physiocrats, basically, if you look carefully on the compass, they were uh, higher up on the political compasses. We have the left and right angle, but also conservative and liberal uh, angle. So, uh, so indeed, how, how to do do this and. Uh, Let's try to help, help them uh, find common ground. And as I said, uh, th th uh, these outcomes are uh, different based on who you are and how the uh, different political parties are doing. Like how big their hate would be could be an I impactor uh, how, how everything goes. And thermodynamics, let's see. Uh, as we're researching thermo, uh, thermodynamics. Let's look here. Uh, there is the steam power. So with the thermodynamics we already get to decide uh, uh, that how the forthcoming interior for the forthcoming railway station should be. Should it be as, as, uh, ascetic or imperial or spherilian? Uh, we, the game takes place in an imaginary country called Swarelia. Ah. Okay, I need to change the cam to the left to the middle. Like, let's see. Oops. The downside of uh, adjusting these is that the, uh, everything is delayed by 20 seconds. So let's see if this is good. I don't know. Uh, yes, hopefully this is good. See. Camera cuts the boxes. Which boxes? Yeah. I don't really understand which. Or yeah, probably the game camera. So I will try to try to make sure that everything is visible. Anyways, I want the, them to be Svarelian. So this leads that the uh, goodwill for the national parties. Uh, National Swarelian Party became bigger and they like the fact that we are also promoting Swarelian cult culture. I'm not entirely sure like what is the what is the question here. Ah the camera position that's true yes now I understand that the what the, uh, guys at Kaluks are asking that I put the, my own picture to block, uh, block you guys from seeing uh, what I'm doing, so that's a bit bad of me, which indeed is something I'm not sure I'm, it's my first, first, uh, uh, first thing that I'm doing, so I will be moving it higher up here. Maybe this is better now. 
or actually no, I will move it to here. So I think this is the least least often used place. Good point. I should have on when preparing should have paid attention to that. So now the basically the boat is ready. Uh, and we see that uh, there are still some undecided, but it seems that the, uh, everything is seems to be fine. So let's click on the begin vote. Uh, and yes, it, it indeed did pass. So now the citizens tax will be 5% uh, steps uh, higher and uh, the company taxation will be two steps higher. And we see the outcome indeed here that the uh, all the different uh, buildings that were influenced and we see that we're now earning clearly more money than we were earning earlier. So let's uh, give it a bit speed, uh, let's speed it up things a bit so we get to see the thermodynamics uh, as it gets ready. short experiment, we may understand and judge of the mighty and wonderful laws of the heavens and the nature of winds. Okay, so this, now we see that, okay, we got some boost for the companies, we got a new new uh, business area, a new gameplay element, and also a new service, uh, police station. So let's, uh, let's go invent something else. Maybe we invent the gas infrastructure next. So let's get back. And now since the, we have a new service also, actually we have two service because on the, if we came to modify the district earlier, we would have seen that the, uh, there is also a school that we can build. this this looks cool to my, uh, to my opinion and uh, let's go forward now we can change the how we want the want to zone the zone the uh, new district we should be paying attention to uh, the different demands uh, how big demand there is for certain elements one thing that pro players will soon realize that even though we see that okay at the moment, the residential demand is in the minus, as is the uh, commercial demand, and only industrial demand is there. If we did like this, that would probably be a good, bad idea, because naturally when new industrial companies would start to appear, they would need workforce. And if we go back and see from the city data, for example, there is plenty of data. I will go through that later on. Uh, there isn't that many unemployed people. We see that there is 30 working class people uh, only un unemployed and 154 uh, lower class people unemployed. So it's probably still a good idea to uh, have some residential space, space there uh, so that Whenever new companies are being established, then, then uh, they also have workforce. So let's let's do it, for example, like this. Maybe 64 is good. Now we see that we have unlocked also grammar school and police station. So how they, how these different services? Let's get back to basics. The Citizens need uh, places to have a social life, they need some security services, they want to live in a nice physical environment, naturally healthier the citizen, the happier he is, they need some places to educate themselves, as well as, well, fun is an important element in life as well. So, as we build these different services, it's like in the classic Sim cities where uh, different services had different range and we see that our services actually have two different ranges even on the municipal services the same goes with the companies if uh, if you watched closely when I clicked on the different uh, companies these mean 
let's just build a school first. This means basically uh, that the two different service ranges I can't yet select the school because it's still under both. So I'll put a bit speed down. But this, the same mechanics goes with the businesses. So uh, there is two ranges. The better one is the closer one, and it usually means that it provides more services. Like in this case, the restaurant pro provides uh, the uh, uh, social life and fun, but on a weaker range, it provides only social life. That means that and that uh, if people live close to that uh, service, they they are more happy. They get more more service that way. And where the diff two different ranges uh, reach is that. The happier the staff in the company, the further the optimal range reaches, and thus uh, give the better better service to higher uh, to the further place. Why I didn't click click on is that uh, whenever new stuff happen, that the game world needs to communicate to the player. It happens via newspaper. Here is. The important bit is that there was an election, and Free Democratic Party won that election, and the Physiocratic Party uh, came second. So at the same time, it uh, refers that the number of council members the different parties have, that has now changed. Later on, the newspaper will also announce the mayor's election, when, well, basically you need to fight in order to stay in power, so the newspaper will announce that, okay, the campaign Campaign time now starts, and these are the different candidates for the for the uh, election. The other side of the uh, newspaper is uh, uh, mostly fluff. Sometimes it has some information about the different business areas, if they're booming or if they're uh, not uh, not doing so well. If some business area is in the recession, and. Uh, uh, so forth, but there is always a main news why the newspaper came. It, it's either indeed elections, uh, a state law which I still haven't covered, or indeed a global economy changes if there is a global recession or global boom time. And indeed, this, as you see, these uh, events pop up. Uh, some are directly related to who I am, and uh, in this case, in, partic in particular, that the uh, was this guy Giacomo uh, Santelias uh, has a, a soft spot for the Free Democratic Party and should, should he openly support them or remain impartial and well different outcomes let's openly support them so we see that the, naturally the uh, uh, Free Democratic Party likes that a lot but the, their rivals don't like it at all that we the mayor is uh, uh, favoring one party over over another. And let's while the game rolls and the okay now it's it's ready. So let's it seems that this will go through as well. Yes, that's good. Good, good. So as time goes on, and uh, we invent new inventions from the progress cloud, if we uh, invent representation rights, for example, those will unlock uh, elements in the grander Swarelia as well. Uh, we don't. We, the, our city is part of Swarelia, but uh, we only play within this one city, which brings us to the uh, state laws. State laws are bigger deal than the mere edicts of the game and basically you can uh, that's also what the uh, earlier the emperor uh, dictates and later on the different political parties will propose that you can't avoid you can either support or oppose certain certain law from taking place uh, and they have a very big role in the game as well at the moment only labor law level one has been unlocked and it's uh, not something the player himself can launch but if I let the time roll I'm sure that at some stage the 
state law will pop up. And these state laws uh, are about the rights of the citizens living in your city. And they will do always three things. First of all, uh, they will provide a temporary boost to one of these, uh, or one or more of these. Yes, now indeed the labor unions came. So we can either support or oppose that. Can't, can't say that no, we don't want this to be voted at all. And we see that the, uh, it provides bonuses to certain services of this, this thing, uh, six wheel of life values, making the citizens happier. They are basically happier if, uh, if, uh, uh, if they have more rights. Uh, but at the same time, since this is just a temporary bonus that will wear out uh, uh, sooner or later, what remains is a change in the demand of those services, meaning that uh, it will be in the future harder to keep make sure that the citizens stay happy. So the more rights citizens have, the more they also demand in the long run. Uh, but for a short while they are super happy that yes, now we have the right to form labor unions in, in this case, for example. And we can decide, there are moments that uh, you may go against your own personal values just because whatever the situation in the city is. So, well, basically, indeed, if uh, sometimes it's good to uh, th these boosts, which are considerably big, it might be good for temporary make people happy, but uh, indeed, if people are already unsatisfied and you are thinking that you're, you don't have a means at the moment to make sure that they stay happy also in the future. So you may oppose even if you wanted to support at that stage. But the more important bit is, or equally important bit is that they also increase the amount of uh, brain power, the science points uh, your city or some of your buildings provide. So basically what this means is that the more progressive society you manage to create within your city or within Svarelia in this case, uh, the more brain power, the more new ideas you are able to bring into, into your city. But the more you do that, the more focused you are on, on this, the harder it will also be to make sure that everyone also stays happy. So. On each individual case, you would need to uh, balance it out. Do you want this to go through or not? And you see the prediction, indeed, of the political compass also here. So let's support. I want more, more brain power and more rights to the people. And this, indeed, uh, means that now also our, our city council is debating, should this be implemented or not? And we see that this vote goes a lot slower than the regular votes we saw earlier because, well, it's a state law, so it means that appealing for the, uh, what the country's uh, parliament it's just is a bigger, bigger deal. Which, by the way, reminds that uh, after the newspaper we never checked how is the power struggle between the different parties. So. I don't remember how it was earlier, but this is the situation Situation now. Uh, naturally, also, the uh, with the state laws, we can also make sure that the citizens would, uh, oh, sorry, po political parties would uh, vote like we do, so that it would go through, or if we oppose, we can try to appeal so that the parties wouldn't vote in favor of it. And indeed, whenever there is always also a category for each of the inventions through which we can personalize the different uh, inventions, like the gas infrastructure, as we're in, uh, inventing that, we can choose which, which type of gas street lights we put, which will alter from one game session to another uh, what what type of uh, bonuses they will provide if we 
eventually built them. So let's, for example, let's choose a Parisian model. Paris is awesome. So, so by that it means that the gas street lights and decorated gas street lights will start providing one extra physical environment uh, if we built them when we have unlocked them. So it's halfway through. So now we know what type of uh, gas street lights we will be uh, we will be having if we want to push them through. Okay, and steam and spe uh, speed. Oh, the railroad is being built to Rauda city, and soon there'll be trains enabling the fast transport of people and goods. Who knows what kind of changes that might bring? How do you feel about railroads? Well, I'm sure that the trains are the transportation of, of future, uh, which uh, seems to have uh, brought me progressive trade, which in this case, indeed, if we go to look who I am. I already had had that that option. So also based on or that trade. So also based on who I play, these uh, player events can be a good way to make sure that I I would get the kind of trades I want, even if I'm not playing the family member that would have them automatically. Also, if you look at the stuff that has been happening here, as I know that there is lots of going on, if, even if I just let the game roll. Uh, you see that uh, occasionally the parties don't just stay stagnant, but they also appeal to one another. So we can see the message log if something went uh, went too fast, and we can see that they, uh, they have also appealed, appealed uh, uh, to one another on the different boats that have gone through. And uh, on there, on the uh, message log, we also saw, oops, not that button, but rather this button, the logbook. Fui! The porch light is burned out, and I can't see whether it's dark outside or not. Okay, so we got the gas street light. Let's, let me finish with this one first. So, as I mentioned, uh, this isn't a, uh, exactly a sandbox game, but rather indeed uh, a campaign style of game. Uh, and we do have... Uh, five different types of uh, uh, winning conditions. One of them is being just staying in power for the five different eras. Uh, then we have the science victory, which we can see that there is always ten step, except for the end of time, time thing. Uh, and uh, here we can see what we need to do in order to establish establish those victory conditions. And some are easier to uh, get than others, and I would say it's no wonder that so choosing the science family that I have already three steps completed there, but particularly the latter part is more difficult. So we have the science victory, economic victory, political victory, basically dictating if science is that, uh, rel more reliant on what we research, on how fast we research those things, and economy is uh, uh, more related to how well the businesses are doing. Political victory is more related to how happy the citizens are and how, how well the different state laws have, have went through and so forth. And we also do have something for the players to dig deeper into, which is the remarkable city winning condition. As you can see, it's completely empty. Uh, and how to win this victory we, it will be most likely the most difficult one because it means that you need to accomplish something remarkable uh, in the city, some good or bad. For example, uh, if you manage to give women right to vote uh, earlier than what was the standard in in the Western world, that will trigger like a, uh, well, I don't remember the event's name, but basically the kind of uh, feminist paradise uh, 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 event that will mark as a remarkable city victory condition that it was you who made it happen the first or at least in the top five places places in the world. So, and some might be indeed that if you have super bad security, uh, which will launch uh, a big serial, serial killer uh, crime event taking place and if 
within a certain amount of time you manage to deal with that situation, then you might be uh, having the remarkable city event that it's, it's the home of Jack the Tickler, uh, uh, mass murderer, and later on it's going to be as awesome as it was for Jack the Ripper for, for London, but I'm sure that during the days of Jack the, uh, Jack the Ripper it wasn't so fun, fun at all. So let's go back to research, uh, 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 sorry, progress cloud, and research something else. And now I think this district still needs to grow a bit, so let's give some time. What these this symbols also mean here is that the, uh, the building is empty and well hopefully later on it, there will be some uh, some companies moving in in there and these elements show that the new company was born or a company got to level we can also get more information uh, for the district itself we are, we are clicking it and we see the borders of the district and how happy uh, each of the buildings are if there is unemployment like in uh, in this case, there is unemployed people there. Okay, so now the uh, boom times take place, so it will certainly help with the different companies. And also, uh, like the long game, the deep game, that where the game gets fun and the city city starts feeling your own, is when you really st need to start uh, balancing and seeing what kind of uh, different services you have, uh, how are the different uh, social classes uh, doing in different districts, what sort of businesses there are, and, and so forth. And here we can see also that the player isn't alone in the city, but rather indeed there are already at the beginning the three different parties, I think the uh, highest there can be at the same time seven different parties and they can also suggest stuff. And here, because the city balance is negative, the physiocratic party suggests that we should uh, raise the company taxation. And we can uh, choose how to, how to do it. Basically, at the early stage of the game, because we're not yet a democracy, we're part of a grander empire, which uh, the Swarelia will get independent at the third era. All the way till 10, we can always say no also, but this option will become obsolete when, well, the world gets more democratic, so you can't decide uh, so much. But if we now say, for example, just for the example's sake, if we say no, it still means that the uh, party didn't like it at all, for, uh, that you didn't even let the city council vote for, vote for the idea. And since you still need to, you, you're not a dictator, you can't uh, uh, like rule everything alone, so it was probably a bad idea. Could have been a better just to let, let it still go and vote, because then at least the party wouldn't hate and oppose me, thanks to now the goodwill being on the on the minus, minus there. And then indeed, the other world, the world around us also reacts to that. Uh, in this case, we get from some strange penalty mod, uh, gift uh, from the Caribbean. And what do we do with the llama? Do we accept the gift? Uh, has different outcomes. Uh, I don't want to have a llama in the city, which means that the quality of uh, textile companies now is better in our city because we donated them the llama. And I think it's a good idea to raise the taxation a bit, particularly the citizens' taxation, so we can make sure that people are happier. And let's see, do we need to push? Yes, I think it's going going to go through, so 
that's good. Yeah, this should should go through. Yes, excellent. So now the labor unions are legal and as we go back to the city screen we see that all the places which influenced it and why the state laws are so big deal is that uh, basically everyone living in the city are usually usually influenced by that and we see that the, it was bringing social life so that went up considerably and now we raise the taxes a bit few more things uh, uh, that I want to stress out is indeed that uh, we have at the background logics like how the city here here works how does the quality and efficiency for example work is that the, uh, the citizens are divided into five different social classes elite and Elite and middle class can work in the middle class jobs. And if elite goes to work there, it provides a quality bonus. So the more you have elite in the city, the better. Same with the working class and uh, lower class. That uh, The more working class people you have working in the working class uh, jobs, the better. And if it's lower class, well, you would want to push the lower class to be uh, as little as possible and more on the working class. And you can do that by uh, by education uh, and making sure that the citizens are happy. As when they old, the citizens have a chance to change their uh, social class. But that only happens if they are super happy. So that that is the hard way to raise the raise the uh, social class of different citizens. We can get the information on the different uh, citizens. We see the traffic capacity one more thing is that uh, if we go closer well it's night now well there is still someone going so if the road capacity isn't enough that's also like if it goes here uh, above 100 percent the companies will start to start to suffer and we can get quite a lot of information on the on the different districts we're going to build as well as indeed can follow income stuff we can see what sort of companies we have in the in the uh, in the city as well as indeed the state laws and what's the employment status and before I start wrapping things up uh, for the for the game I want to stress out uh, some other elements that uh, clearly an hour of uh, uh, Twitch, uh, Twitch session isn't enough is that uh, is basically the different gameplay elements that we will unlock uh, we didn't yet build any any or unlock any institutions we are going to in unlock actually maybe we'll, I will still play enough to unlock the sanitation but uh, Institutions are like the municipal services, except that there can be only one railway station or only one port or only one hospital or only one university. And they will come with upgrades as well. And they will uh, provide the bonuses without the service range. So the services that we built, these uh, indeed uh, provide the personal growth in this case. Uh, only to this range. The good thing about uh, uh, this is that we can in increase the funding of the different services and we see that if we had lots of money uh, we could provide indeed that the uh, school would provide 10 personal growth meaning that 10 well if there is the city hall already provides two then everyone would be uh, absolutely delighted within naturally the range of the service but the, with the uh, institutions the bonus is automatic so everyone will will get it uh, in any case 
other elements, indeed, the, well, we, uh, yeah, actually the infrastructures should, should show. Let's see if we, yeah, the company slowly, slowly move in, so we will go back to plus. Let's give some time, yes, that's good. Good, good money pouring in. It's always good. I wish I had more money. Uh, now I think the parties hopefully now won't oppose me if I suggest that uh, let's add a gas infrastructure here. So we activate it. We see that okay now that we activated the gas infrastructure we can also add the previously mentioned gas rate lights and we see that now they also providing uh, the, bo the bonus if, if I play it again and if I chose uh, the other options we, I would see that the decorated gas rate lights would provide four because I didn't choose that they are the Parisian model and like this well it's gonna be tough but I'm sure ah yeah yeah, well, as we go forward, it's uh, good to uh, let the situation update, update the uh, political compass uh, for the whole, whole sum of the money that how much the, uh, the uh, cost would be. This will be tough, but let's see. Let's let the time roll again, and I will, this time I will have to clearly have to uh, let's threaten I've been two nice guys guys uh, guy recently so threaten then they will lose the next election if I don't if they don't vote like I want damn didn't work out well, luckily the the physiocratic party still for is if I if, uh, yeah this one I forgot to mention that uh, uh, you can appeal only once once a month each each of the parties, so you can't OP the, the game by even if they hate just threatening all over again. So once a month you can and you should come back uh, uh, to the same world if uh, if it's important to you. But uh, now these are all all locked. So let's okay. The economy is slowing down. Okay, that's good. No, I think it's going to go through. Yes, awesome. And it did. Excellent. So now we see that the life up. is like a sewer. What you get out of it depends, depends on, on what, what you put, put into, into it. Okay. I hope I put everything good into my life. Uh, anyways. Uh, now we can see that there are the gas street lights. Uh, so indeed, the city uh, change shape changes shape as you uh, play longer. The few things uh, my time starts to be up, but I still want to continue. Hopefully, you're not too eager to finish this uh, stream. Uh, is that the the different densities of the districts is one key element once the company yes exactly I, I was hoping this would appear this symbol is uh, uh, a sign that the company was doing so well that it tried to upgrade itself but the density of the district or the city well that basically it means that it couldn't find a place where it would be allowed to build a bigger place so unlocking this uh, density over here and increasing the density of a district would mean that this company would have, would show a higher level in the in the level it would uh, hire more people it would pay higher taxation so trying to grow the businesses and providing them with means to grow is is a key element and as such indeed the density selection is is important the highest possible density we have only three density uh, ranges is uh, on the HVAC, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, 
and here is only the high density so the first two eras you will have to do with just uh, low and medium density and then indeed when there is demand and the businesses are doing well then the uh, uh, buildings can upgrade upgrade themselves uh, other elements uh, is indeed that you will get to uh, destroy buildings uh, as you want in order to get rid of certain certain uh, polluting industries for example you can protect the building oh, was it, in, yeah, it wasn't in station stage one yeah. I have been, the last thing I've been doing recently has been balancing the game so I have changed the location of certain certain elements so uh, yeah then we can unlock better taxing op options with the public opinion meaning that you can choose how heavily do you tax the elite how heavily you tax the middle class and, and so forth we can unlock partner cities in two steps first of all you can form a partnership we have twin cities to other uh, cities in the world and what they do is that you can choose which sort of partnership is that like is it for education for example and then some of your schools might be getting either quality bonus or they might pro provide additional services and, and so forth uh, uh, and, and so forth but then on the fourth era we will also unlock uh, the business delegations which is basically the same stuff but this time for the companies. So you can send a business delegation to Shanghai or Sendai or San Francisco and which business comp companies from which business area you take with, with you will get uh, bigger bonuses uh, for the duration of uh, I think 15 years or something. And thus they will be doing, doing better. Uh, then what else was there? Then indeed there is plenty of these uh, uh, edicts, the upgrades for the institutions, and and different different uh, infrastructures. But by the uh, fourth era, then you will have all the key gameplay elements, and the fifth era adds still more business areas, more edicts, and more more upgrades and infrastructure still but I promised something from the what did I promise yeah the port I promised yes unexpected marriage you have never had much time nor interest for romance well luckily I'm not playing myself because what's more important than romance Suddenly you surprise, uh, you surprise even yourself by getting married. Your bride is Anna Maria, an artist you, who you have sometimes worked with. You enjoyed her company, nothing more, until one day she asked, rather bluntly, if you'd like to marry her. What made you say yes? Hmm. It might have been lonely, yes, or family, but indeed could be my only chance to marry, so... So indeed, some of these uh, family events or player events uh, focus more on the player character, uh, some on the situation around the city, that if uh, the citizens are unhappy, if indeed the average of a certain district is something, that those are the things that launch, uh, launch the different kind of events. Maybe there is a strike in a company that has super unsatisfied uh, staff and, and so forth institution I will still collect a bit of money because institutions are also expensive so if I go on broke suggesting that hey let's build a million costing costing institution the, uh, the uh, parties will laugh at me so here the port itself gives a similar boost to to the companies as well as provide social life for for the for the citizens it costs one and a half million and is a bit difficult to get through but I'm sure that my cunning threat tactics I'll, 
I'm sure that everyone will consider them fools if they don't approve. So I'm sure we will get the institution to the city. So let's see. And indeed, the uh, institutions as you build upgrade at early stage they look like the 18th century, oh, no, sorry, 19th century or 1800s. But with the upgrades, they will grow a lot, and each of the each of the institutions uh, have uh, three upgrades that you unlock from the from the progress cloud. So here we can see that the uh, all the companies need to do three percent less sales now that we have a port that they can export their export their products. So it will help help this uh, My point has always been these uh, different buildings. Yes, definitely, it still is the most important genre. And now, let's see. Let's do the thing that why I wanted to... Or let's assemble again a bit of money before we do it. But let's increase the density still as a last thing. I'm already 15 minutes uh, longer than uh, what I was supposed to uh, be going. I like talking talking so much that I was hoping I would be already at the second era, but it seems that talking is my kind of thing to do. So let's collect some money. This is basically why I'm doing this, is that uh, or waiting, is that uh, I know that, that if I suggested it instantly to increase the density, basically it would be, look like this. So I know that the city needs to have money and a good enough balance uh, before the parties will approve. Invention. Or rather, invention. well, let's hear the quote again. The electric telegraph devised, then gutter poacher, the very material it requires, is found. Indeed, now it's time for safety authorities. So indeed. Uh, why I'm waiting is indeed that I know that uh, I could probably push uh, those decisions through earlier, but uh, increasing the density and building the infrastructure, background infrastructure, is so costly that if I wanted to push through, push it through earlier, then it would be so uh, bad for the goodwill. Still, a bit. Could go through, maybe just for the sake of it. Let's let's try it out. Yeah, it's could have should have probably waited a bit longer with the money, but uh, but still, I already threatened earlier. So let's, let's see if I still still got the same 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 outcome. Which reminds me, by the way. As the time goes on, uh, the, there will be more parties, there will be also more decisions. Uh, and uh, if you constantly keep losing uh, goodwill, how do you get it back? And that's basically the important bit is that the, each of the, uh, uh, the, the goodwill has same type of uh, mechanics as the city-states used to have in uh, civilization, that they have a resting point where the good will slowly will return back to, if you just give it enough time. And based on your traits, that if I go here, and if I see that the... Uh, ah, damn, I don't have any traits that would increase the resting point. That means that uh, as long as you don't anger that party, it will uh, return to a higher position uh, than the, basically the default. And how the tooltips work, each of the trades do have more than more effects than these, uh, is that the, the, it only shows the applicable, uh, applicable effects. So basically as we go through the different eras, unlock new parties or the parties will change as, as time goes on, then different parties will like so the 
it's it's a good idea to come back here to see that the, uh, what bonuses do I get. So for example, with the solitarian, all the er elderly people uh, get bonus to social life because they appreciate that the leader of the city is more distant uh, and such kind, kind of a higher value. Uh, and then at the same time being progressive can be scary, always trying new ideas. So being progressive provides a negative uh, service for all the citizens' security value and, and so forth. Oh shit. Am I allowed to say that? No. Hopefully so. Let's try to still get this get this through and threaten also these guys. Damn, I don't think I managed to get this through. We'll have to try again. If I had made the citizens happier... Ah, yes, it did work. The undecided ones luckily came to my help. help. In any case, there is the overall decision uh, uh, thing which costs prestige. And that can be earned only if the citizens are uh, happy and it slowly accumulates. But 19 is not much, so I'm sure that I wouldn't have been able to get anything done. So let's now give give the city a bit bit of time. So we see that, okay, this guy... Uh, no, is it this guy? Yeah, this guy... It doesn't indeed. Let's go and select the new one. So this one just increased its level. It's now hiring more people, it's providing more income and so forth. And we see that the now that whenever a company is doing well, it's building building bigger buildings and, and so forth. So it's a good idea to increase the uh, density, but it's also more costly. So always when playing Urban Empire, bear in mind the running costs that uh, you don't overextend your economy, that you have the money for whatever you're doing uh, and and so forth. So upgrading everything instantly to as high as possible is the biggest, uh, biggest the straightest way to fail, fail in the game. Let's now build actually. Now I have enough income that I want to build more of these services. That let's also add water pipes here and sewer system. And let's build the stuff I have unlocked while while talking here. So let's build a clinic. And let's go to boat. The Free Democratic Party still opposes for spending money on people that they could get the services from the city. But yeah, uh, still show one last thing, way beyond beyond the time that I'm supposed to supposed to be doing. So let's have a look at the error change, and with the second error, I think that's a good place to wrap things up. And if there is now, now I will also finally have a look at the chat if there is any questions that uh, would have required my attention. So I'm not going to pay attention to whatever goes on in the city now. So I will just see if there is anything that you guys have asked that the Calypso, Calypso staff have claimed haven't. Americans didn't want a drink as bad as they wanted the right to take a drink if they did happen to. Modding. Uh, yes, there is a question about the uh, losing, and indeed, uh, just like Alun said, that the way to lose is to lose the election. Uh, our approach, our approach to the game is that the first two eras, uh, we want you to build the basic basic city, have hopefully at least five in, uh, five districts, maybe more, maybe less, uh, and then. 
build relationship with those districts and then uh, only from the third era when the imaginary country where this takes place uh, becomes independent the world gets more democratic just like in real life the, after the first world war I think there were 14 new democracies uh, being born uh, in Europe so it's also the time when you start you need to start winning winning the elections and here you can see that the difference with the different parties is now a lot bigger so but yeah I will want to show still the still the uh, still the era change and then I think it's time to wrap things up and since the uh, there is something I need to explain while the game rolls the state laws take place in seven different categories which we felt uh, best describes the kind of change in values of the of the uh, how the world has changed so there is the labor rights what's the difference between between uh, uh, between uh, between the uh, like a 19th century and modern times taken framed exposed shot captured and hung all in the same day uh, then we have the uh, civil rights kind of who can vote uh, what kind of privileges do you have a right for uh, uh, for uh, privacy and so forth we have the business law how how developed the different uh, legislation in the businesses are fortunately what what you're witnessing is also buck damn it why did this happen uh, then there is the who has yeah. nothing which he is willing to fight for nothing which he cares more about than he does about his personal safety is a miserable creature who has no chance of being free unless made and kept so by the exertions of better men than himself yes so now it's the second era birth of national identity we say goodbye to Giacomo and we get the Giovanni uh, sorry we say goodbye to Giacomo and we get uh, Giovanni and we get the Giacomo Santelius as the next character who is an optimist as well as progressive and still nominated by the emperor we see that the uh, National Swarelian party is now uh, out and young it split to young Swarelian party as well as old Swarelian party uh, that have different uh, uh, political compass attitudes and then also as time goes on that's also a way for citizens to start demand more services so now all the citizens uh, require five more services in order to be happy so there is a progression also what satisfies the uh, citizens so I guess that's uh, that's pretty much it I think it went otherwise well except that this graphical bug that seems to be keep repeating itself too bad this shouldn't happen but uh, sorry about that it's basically the animation that shows that okay these are influenced by this so I don't know why never I, honestly uh, hand on Bible I have not seen this uh, bug before but in any case uh, uh, this is uh, this is urban empire I hope uh, you had fun following it or if you're watching this on on the uh, channel pay attention how it's uh, it, uh, how the rest of the time goes on it's coming out on uh, January 20th uh, so not too long anymore and uh, we're eagerly working on to make sure that this is as great as it can be and that the city will feel your own uh, in a way that a uh, mere city builder wouldn't feel that the lives of the citizens and the uh, behavior of the different parties would feel as unique as it can be so that's it I will wrap things up and uh, continue working on 
on Urban Empire. So thank you for listening and uh, good night, good morning and uh, whatever it is where you're following this from. Bye.